Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Lexi of Lex Electric. I'm an actor, former model, and current electrician. Today's video is part two of refinishing my mother's 70 year old oak hardwood floors. I recently moved back in with my mom, so I've been tackling a lot of home reno projects, which I will be filming and posting, as well as trying to get a new job in the electrical field, which I'm gonna be posting about as well. So if you're wanting to see women in the trades doing handiwork and kicking ass, then keep following. Sarah, don't eat the mic. In the last video, we tackled the hallway, which I think looks so good compared to what it was before. This video, we're gonna be working on the entryway into the living room. I added some wood filler, but that's already been completely sanded. We just need to do like a buff sand to get the wood filler off and then stain. And same thing with the dining room. So I'm gonna rent a buff sander, which is a little bit less heavy duty than the belt sander, whatever, drum sander, you know what I mean? And that will just be the finishing layer of sanding before I can seal it in. Part of prep work is sealing off all the vents and turning off the heat so no sawdust goes in the system. I can't find, can't find my thing where the hell did it go? Honestly, the biggest part about this whole process was prepping everything. When you have dogs, as you can see, all the dog hair on the floor, it takes forever to get rid of all of the dog hair and all of the dust and debris before you get onto the sanding and staining process. And I know this is going to be controversial that I only did sanding and staining on the exposed wood and left the stuff that's under the carpet as it is because you know what your girl is lazy and I didn't want to. I at least moved the TV stand afterwards so that I could get underneath there but everything else under the carpet it stayed. Here I am going by hand and buffing out any of the insecurities and while I'm doing that let me tell you a ghost story. My parents bought this house in 1997 off of a couple called the Boersbooms, and Henry Boersboom allegedly died in this house, which means this bitch is haunted. When my brother and I were little, we definitely had more ghost stories and could see more paranormal activity happening. The most impactful story that I remember was experienced not by us, but by our babysitter at the time. In my old childhood bedroom, I had a bunk bed, and so when she would babysit with us, she would sleep in the bottom bunk and I would sleep in the top bunk. Well, this one particular night, I was not having a good time, wasn't able to sleep, so I snuck out and went to my brother's room and slept in my brother's bed. Well, this babysitter said, wow, Lexi, you were really loud last night. Your breathing was really heavy, and I couldn't get to sleep because I kept hearing your heavy breathing. Little did she know I was not in the bed at the time, and so, who the hell knows what was making those noises, but I think it freaked her out way more than she let on. And then I found out years later that uh, she did not love staying late at night in our place. There was another instance where we were watching a movie. I think it was Austin Powers, because that was our classic movie of childhood. And we turned off the movie, went to bed, and when our babysitter came back outside, the movie had changed to a different movie and was halfway through, and she swears she didn't change it, we swear we didn't change it. Who the hell knows what happened? I'm calling it a night. Until tomorrow. It's the next morning, the floors look really good. I'm just gonna go over with a fine tooth comb and by hand scuff out any irregularities before I put the seal on. And that's that. What's funny about all these ghost stories is I remember at the time being a kid never really being scared of Henry the ghost. It was almost a family legend at this point and we wanted to we wanted to talk to him. We were buddies with this guy. <laughs> I don't know, we had a weird funny relationship with him. Nowadays though, I never want to hear about ghost stories. Ghosts are absolutely terrifying to me. But you know what? I haven't seen him in a while, so maybe he finally passed on to the, you know, afterlife or whatnot. 
Once the super long and arduous process of sanding was complete, I had to go through with a fine tooth comb again and pick up any particle of dust and sand and dog hair. And I, you know what? I didn't do a perfect job. And there's definitely some dog hair that will be embedded into these floors for the end of time, I assume. Also, I completely forgot that I was filming and took my pants off. So enjoy this video of me in my underwear painting a floor. As I went along with the painting, I would go through with a tack cloth and wipe up the immediate area that I was painting, as well as follow up with a little piece of tape and pick up any loose dog hair. I have a little follow-up from my last video about interviewing for a new apprenticeship. I did receive good feedback. They did call my references and my references said that they sounded really happy. And so the next stage is passing a security clearance. So they said by the end of March, I should find out about that. And I haven't really committed any crimes that I know of, so I'm hoping that will go well. So cross your fingers for me that I'll have a nice new job soon. First coat is done, it's down. Gonna wait two hours and then put on a second coat and then a third coat and hopefully be done by the time tonight rolls around because I'm going out tonight and I want it to be done by tonight. Sarah, thoughts? She's got no thoughts, just vibes. Each coat required about two hours of dry time so I went through and did a coat, waited two hours, did a coat, waited two hours, and did a third final coat and finished up. And the final cure time was about three days. I have noticed though, since finishing the floor, they are very slippery. The sheen is so smooth and level that uh, when I'm wearing socks, I slip a lot. So if anyone has any suggestions on how to mediate that, please let me know in the comments. I am happy to hear it. It took me about a month and about a thousand dollars later, but I'm finally finished and I'm really happy with it. If you liked watching this process, let me know by giving me a thumbs up or a comment. Other than that, subscribe, do the things, and we'll see you on the next one. Thank you so much. Bye.